A Cincinnati High School marching band will be back in the air, making that eight hour flight from Paris to Cincinnati soon. WLWT News 5's Richard Childs is live for us tonight from Walnut Hills High School, where parents of the marching blue and gold say their students are on a journey of a lifetime. This is really cool, Richard. Sure, it's absolutely exciting here. My own alma mater, of course, for these 80 students and parent chaperones making this trip. They say it celebrates a very special achievement. Walnut is one of only four bands that's going to get a chance to participate in the Paris New, Day, New Year's Day parade. But they also say that the threat of terrorism couldn't stop them from stepping out on the world stage. Now, the Walnut Hills Marching Blue and Gold stepped out across the Champs Elysees, marching their way through the Arc de Triomphe for this year's New Year's Day parade, making their debut on the world stage. Many questioned if the band should make the trip after terrorists attacked the City of Light, but after consulting with the State Department officials, parents and administrators gave the okay for the Eagles to take flight across the pond. I'm absolutely excited and proud that the school board, the school, all of the directors and the parents that made that decision to say, we're moving forward, we're not going to be afraid. Now, the band has been in Paris for about a week. They are making the trip home tomorrow. Of course, hoping for a safe trip back and a trip of a lifetime. Reporting live from Walnut Hills, Richard Childs, WLWT News 5. All right, Richard, thank you. Band directors telling us the marching blue and gold have been rated excellent for more than 13 years. Have all kinds of local kids making us proud all over the world in the U.S. celebrating America's New Year in style. Here, the Mason Marching Band marched their way down Colorado Boulevard today, out in Pasadena. They joined select bands from all across the world in the Tournament of Roses parade, and we caught up with the uh, Hunter Law family, whose daughter Jessica made the five and a half mile march today. But it was so exciting to see them come around that corner on Colorado Boulevard and all the Mason crowd stood up and started cheering and it was just really very cool and exciting. The band will be returning to Mason on Sunday so they get to hang out for a few more days. And for more Rose Parade fun, check out our slideshow on WLWT.com. You can see some of the dozens of floats in this year's parade like this one here, the science-related float that uh, happened this morning.